Michael Burry bets against Tesla. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because we're going to have a look at this article which is discussing Michael Burry betting against Tesla. $530 million bet against it. What do you reckon? Let's get started by having a look at the current Tesla price. Well, the Bitcoin crash that happened last night doesn't seem to have affected them too badly. We'll have to see how they open. But, you know, at the last close, it was $563, down 2.49%. And after aftermarket trading seems to be climbing up. And let's have a look at this article. Michael Borry of the Big Short reveals a $530 million bet against Tesla. Michael Borry is long puts against 800, uh, 800,000 shares of Tesla or $534 million by the end of the quarter, according to a filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Borry was one of the first investors to call, the prof to call and profit from the subprime mortgage crisis. Borry previously mentioned in a tweet, that Tesla's reliance on regulatory credits to generate profits is also an impediment to the company's long-term prospects. You've got to realize Tesla in many ways is just completely dependent on corporate welfare, which is ironic that they're so in bed with Bitcoin when they've got to add this whole image of being a green company because they need to get funds from the government. Famed investor Michael Burry on Monday revealed in a regulatory filing, a short position against Tesla was worth more than half a billion dollars. Burry, one of the first investors to call and profit from the subprime mortgage crisis, is long puts against 800,100 shares of Tesla or 534 million by the end of the first quarter, according to the filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Investors profit from puts when the underlying securities fall in price. As of March 31, Burry owned 8,001 put contracts with unknown value, strike price, or expiry, according to the filing. Tesla shares, uh, shares of Tesla fell more than 4% on Monday, bringing its month-to-date loss to nearly 20%. I didn't realize it's fallen that much in a month. Burry, whose firm is Scion Asset Management, shot to fame by betting against mortgage securities before the 2008 crisis. Burry was depicted in Michael Lewis's book, The Big Short, and subsequent Oscar-winning movie of the same name. Tesla has had a turbulent 2021 amid slumping sales in China in April and part shortages that have impeded production in both the US and China. Well, there you go. Burry previously mentioned in a tweet, which he later deleted, that Tesla's reliance on regulatory credit to generate profit is a red flag. As more automakers produce battery electric vehicles of their own, ostensibly fewer will need to purchase environment, environmental regulatory credits from Tesla, which they have done in order to become compliant with environmental regulations. Besides his big short, Burry made a killing from a long GameStop position recently as the Reddit favorite made Wall Street history with a massive short squeeze. In the first quarter of 2021, Tesla reported $518 million in sales of regulatory credits, which Elon Musk's company generally receives from government programs to support renewable energy. This is the thing. It's all, it's just a propped up company, corporate welfare one way or another, for ideological reasons. It has sold these to other automakers, notably FCA, Nastalanitis, when they needed credits to offset their own carbon footprint. In the fourth quarter of 2020, Tesla's $270 million in net income was enabled by its sale of $401 million of regulatory credits to other automakers. Tesla historically has racked up around $1.6 billion in regulatory energy credits, primarily zero emission vehicle credits, which helped the company report more than four consecutive quarters of profitability, qualifying the automaker for addition to the S&P 500 index. Tesla is currently delayed in producing and delivering its updated versions of its high-end sedan and SUV, the Model S and X respectively, and it is delayed in commercial production of its custom-designed 468 battery cells for use in forthcoming vehicles, including the Cybertruck and Tesla Semi. 
Meanwhile, Musk's, uh, Musk's electric vehicle venture is facing regulatory scrutiny in China and the U.S., with high-profile vehicle ca crashes leading to negative publicity and investigations by vehicle safety authorities in both nations. Many believe the CEO's Musk's uh, tweets about Bitcoin and Dogecoin have also contributed to the volatility in Tesla's stock. Musk has tens of millions of followers on Twitter. Musk, a proponent of cryptocurrency generally, announced last week that Tesla was indefinitely suspending the acceptance of Bitcoin as a payment for cars, saying his concerns he was concerned by the rapid increase, increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transaction. Tesla revealed earlier this year to bought 1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. Here's the thing as well. With Tesla buying, you know, you could buy a car with Bitcoin. The issue was that they could refund you in whatever they chose. They could refund you either in USD or in Bitcoin. So imagine if you had a bought, bought a car in, uh, you know, say last month spent 60 grand when bitcoin was or when bitcoin was high you know at 60 grand you paid for it with a car in bitcoin and now bitcoin's only 30,000 what do you think you're going to get back your 60,000 usd or a bitcoin <laughs> or if it went the other way you know if you bought with bitcoin that you you know for 30 grand and now it's shot up to 40 what would you get back if you want a refund so they were taking no risk tesla shares dropped nearly 20% in 2021 after surging a whopping 740% in 2020 so there we go, everyone. And I did a viewer poll and I asked viewers, do you intend to short Tesla like Michael Burry? I mean, he has, he's got long puts, but still, let's have a look at what viewers said. And 39% said yes, and 61% said no. Some of the comments, never bet against Elon Musk. It's a long put position, not a short sell. He's betting Tesla to drop in the short run. Instead of the price going to zero, two different things. Yes, you're right. Steve FM, who has the, who has the money like Burry? Echo, echo, I don't think my stockbroker sells puts, unfortunately. Tesla is overvalued, but definitely a once-in-a-lifetime growth story. It will command these valuations in three to four years from now. We'll have to see. That dependence on government handouts, guys, that, that's all artificial. That's completely unnatural. It's a result of government intervention and the IPA or the EPA propping it up no matter how smart you think you are don't bet against elon musk it won't go well you know he misspoke people want want blood that was the last quarter and he filed it in 13 we don't know how uh if he's still shorting tesla pe is still very high and i still can't afford to buy it lol i'll wait for the imminent 80 percent market correction well it is insane isn't it how high tesla has i wonder if how much of it is just the musk hype everyone and gates is i think tesla is a crap company but shorting it is suicidal so tesla is the most important company in the world today but it's overvalued really you think it's the most important company george i think there are a lot more doing a lot many other companies doing a lot more look at some of the innovation maybe i've just watched too many of thunderfoot's videos just tearing into him so there we have it everyone We'll have to see. Are you brave enough to short? Let us know. Or to do anything. <laughs> Just sit back and watch. I think that's the easiest. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan of and want to help support us, there are a few ways you can. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using Self Wealth or Stake. You can use any of our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. You can buy merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.